I'm your host, Sean McKenzie. Thanks for joining me once again on my channel on data engineering and data analytics. In this episode, we're going to return to our Python on Snowflake playlist, and we're going to look at how to use the write pandas function uh, in order to write pandas data frames directly into Snowflake databases. Now, this is a very uh, handy thing for you to learn uh, because it'll help you to, to move lots of records into pandas if you need to. And, uh, and you can actually work with your pandas data frames that you're used to and you can write them directly into Snowflake. And so without further ado, let's get to our write pandas function. Okay, so to get started here, I'm using the idle shell from uh, 3.9.2 version that I just installed. And there's my CSV file that I created on the C drive uh, that I'm gonna load into a data frame. And uh, I'll do a file and then a new, uh, new Python file from the idle shell and uh, we can get started. So in our last um, episodes, we created a project database inside a warehouse and, and a schema. And I created a project tasks table that you can see here if I, uh, if I run it, it's empty. You can see the, the fields are there in the uh, web interface for, for your Snowflake instance. And uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, import our Snowflake connector and, uh, and then from the uh, uh, connector um, tools, uh, pandas tools, uh, we'll, we'll uh, import um, write pandas, which is a, a nice function um, that uh, can write a whole data frame into your, into your table in uh, Snowflake. And it's great because uh, it does it very efficiently as opposed to using other methods. So we'll import pandas as PD, just as we normally do, and then uh, we can get started. I'll, I'll put some uh, feedback to the user here, um, opening, uh, just so that we can see our script as it runs. And then I'll just say uh, our data frame is equal to uh, pd.read underscore CSV. And, uh, um, and then I'll put in my parameters here. I've got a C. C drive um, in a dev folder there um, just to make it short and I called it project data.csv and uh, I'll add our delimiter here I uh, using using uh, separator equals uh, uh, a comma and I'll put our header row is the first row and uh, and then I'm gonna put our index column equal to false because I don't really want to have um, that in there. Um, this is going to be a very simple uh, load. And then just in case it adds uh, any indexes on there, I'm going to um, just do a df.reset index and I'm going to drop, uh, drop the index off of it. Um, and we can do that as an in-place uh, operation. Um, and then uh, where, what we can do from there is, uh, I got to fix that P there. Uh, in place equals true, um, and that'll give us a nice uh, little data frame that um, that we can load into our into our Snowflake uh, database. And uh, so I'll print off the head of that just to just so that we can see as as we're progressing there. Grab the first ten rows, and then uh, and then I'll and then I'll give some feedback to say we're going to open Snowflake now. And, uh, and we can move forward from there. Next, we'll make our connection. And uh, I'll just say uh, CNN is equal to uh, snowflake.connector.connect. And, uh, and then we'll put our parameters in there. And what's important to know that I found out from, from this uh, um, exercise was that uh, in our connection, it's very important for you to have the, the warehouse and the schema um, and uh, uh, the warehouse, the, uh, <clears throat> the schema, and uh, the database in your, um, in your Snowflake connection um, so that it's actually pointing to the right place when, when you go to use the right pandas um, function. Um, because normally, when, like we did in our last video, 
we only connected using um, the username and password and the account and uh, uh, and then we we used our cursor to move around inside of Snowflake you know to go to this warehouse and use this schema and and things and use this database and things like that uh, but when we're using the right pandas um, uh, function it's good to have all of those already sort of loaded into your connection to start um, so that you don't need to specify it after and then when we pass this connection to um, the right pandas function uh, it's going to be all ready to go pointing to the right place and, and everything like that oh and it looks like I missed my uh, my account there so I'll just zip up there and grab that and uh, put that in and it's good to make sure that you have your your account in there as well when you uh, go to log in otherwise you'll get an error and uh, and then we can move on from there um, so we'll go down and uh, the next thing that we'll do is uh, we're going to use the write pandas function and the function passes back a bunch of uh, stuff um, uh, multiple uh, variables and so uh, we're going to load those into a success variable and end chunks variable, a rows variable, and uh, and then we can use the uh, the right pandas uh, function and it'll tell us you know how many rows it processed, how many chunks it used. If you had a very large uh, you know pandas data frame, it might split it into chunks, um, and uh, so we'll do. Uh, our connection, our data frame, our, the name of our table, and then I'll put quote identifiers equal to false. Um, I did find that trips up sometimes on, especially on CSVs, where you have quoted identifiers on some of the fields. Um, so you might want to set that to false if you're getting some errors there. And then we'll print out our success chunks and rows variables. Um, and uh, and um, also, one other uh, factor here is you need to make sure you install the connector that has the square brackets with pandas inside of it, um, which I'll, I'll put on screen here. Um, I found that my original installation did not have the pandas. It was not pandas friendly, and so you need to make sure that you install that. And also, um, you need the 64. Well, you don't need, I'm not sure that you need it, but uh, it all what I've seen points to that you need the 64-bit version so we'll close our connection after we're done and uh, I'll hit F5 to uh, to set this in motion here drive a quick look at look at it and make sure I don't have any uh, errors errors in my um, typing it looks pretty good so far so there we go it's opened it up it got our our head of our data frame open snowflake and there you go uh, it's passed back the parameters or I should say the uh, the variables uh, the output variables and it's told us that it's done uh, it's done it successfully and uh, so now we can go back to our project tasks this is looking in the web viewer and I can say preview data on that table and you can see that those uh, records have been inserted in there so in that case, it looks like everything was uh, good to go. Uh, there were a few gotchas along the way, including the, uh, the pandas friendly uh, connector, so make sure that you get that. But that is how you write pandas data frames into Snowflake. I hope you enjoyed today's discussion on how to write data from your data frames directly into uh, Snowflake. If you like what you saw today, please give the video a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you have not subscribed yet, uh, click the bell when you see the bell and uh, leave comments in the comment section below and I'll do my best to answer any questions that you might have. Have a great day, have a safe day, and I'll catch you next time.